Hi, I'm Debbie. Welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for October 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, Monday through Thursday for my Leos. How are you, my Leos? Now, you know that when I'm doing Monday through Thursday readings, I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks. I'm using my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main reading, and then I'll pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power, whatever the message is. My job is just to deliver. Anyway, I don't know. Do we want to do it that way or this way? I think we're going to do it this way. Two cards have already fallen out. Both of them are reversed. I know, I know. My Leos, my Leos, my Leos. You know, why can't they just pay us for the charm? <laughs> okay, sure, you can come out. You know, why can't, you know, why can't they just pay us for, you know, just the charm? We always have to work so darn hard. Now, okay, the 27th, something I want to talk about, the 27th of October at... 9.34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mercury continues to go retrograde. However, it transitions from Scorpio, which, remember, uncovers the secrets, to Libra. Now, Libra was a little unstable during Libra season. I didn't, you know, I kind of like the pachoo-choo-choo. So, I am not quite sure if this is going to bring more instability or if this is going to bring stability. Either way, it is, you know, again, it is one of those things that, you know, the scales, the scales have to, you know, come out. They, they have to go through whatever their thing is until they actually balance out again. The other thing, though, is Venus, which is direct, will also enter Libra season. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, will enter Libra at 941, which is seven minutes later. Seven has that divine property to it. Um, you know, so, you know, so... Venus will be in Libra. So what does that mean? I'm kind of looking at that as a really strong emotional justice. So who's to say? Will it be, you know, will it bring stability? Will we say yay or will we say nay? Anyway, we'll figure that out. So my Leos, we have two cards that popped out and this one popped out too. And they are all reversed. Reversed have that strong energy. Now, Ten of Gabriel your energy. Tens are some transitions, but ten, 10 of Gabriel, your energy, Sagittarius and Aries, passionate, burning, and determined. Oh my gosh, there's too much, too much going on, too much going on. You need some help. You need to ask for help. Now, is that going to be from, um, I kind of feel like, you know, like the workhorse, the, you know, the horse that, you know, the workhorse was one that was loaded down with a lot of, you know, bundles, burdens, or whatever, and had to then draw, you know, had to then carry them all over. Now, this is one of those times, tens are transitioning, so maybe the transition in itself is a little bit on the harder side. Whatever you've been leaving and you're going into, it could, you know, it could be on that part. So you're going to need to make sure that you do ask for help. Now, asking for help, though, you know, it could be asking for people around you. So maybe you are somebody that is, you know, you've been staying at home. Maybe you are returning to that outside workforce, uh, whether that still be in your home or outside your home. And so now some of the things that you were doing, um, you know, you need to relinquish and let others do it, even if they don't do it as well as you, <laughs> my Leos. You, not, you might need to say, hey, I need some help here and you need to do this. And then you have to kind of, you know, bite your tongue a little bit because, again, they're not going to do it as well as you. It could be that. It could also be, again, reaching up to higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, to also ask for some, um, you know, whether would you want to call it spiritual or supernatural type of help. Now, you know, again, that thing, something, you know, remember that thing with Libra. So there is going to be some sort of a balance, whether it's a yay or nay. Uh, but you got to speak it out because that's what Mercury retrograde does. It makes things come out anyway. Um, and, and even though it's leaving Scorpio, we are still in Scorpio season. And Scorpio, it just has to come on out. Okay. Anyway, 
Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. So that's something real interesting with that. You know, you know, are you, again, remember what I said about they may not do it as well as you? Well, and that's okay. It is okay. They have to learn. Okay. Your next card, again, reversed. And this one is real interesting, especially as we are coming to that full moon on the 31st. And we are at, you know, we have, and we have the other types of energies that I've been talking about, you know, and especially in the overview for Scorpio. But then to um, the veil, the supernatural, the, the veil between the natural and supernatural is getting very thin. And on the 31st, it is at its thinnest, okay? So we're coming closer and closer to this. The high priestess, there's a two, so there's some choices there. Some, some opportunities may be presented. But the high priestess, which is actually Archangel Heniel. Remember, I've been telling you to write the archangels down because they're coming to you for a reason. Look them up on the internet, however it is. And when you feel like you need to call upon Archangel Heniel, Archangel Heniel is like they're saying, hey, I'm here, let me help you. Anyway, powerful psychic insights. You may find that your psychic insight is off the wall, okay? You may find that it's kind of like a computer being downloaded, um, you know, that you might have gotten an additional download, an additional app, okay? For, you know, at, you know if you want to look at it that way. And it's one of those things, and I feel like it's it, it may be one of those things that's like, you know, on your phone, it's running in the background, but you can pull it up and make it a little bit stronger too. So, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. That's a really important thing. The be at peace, you know, especially as somebody who's gone through those upload, upload downloads many, many times, you just have to kind of go, okay, okay, this is happening. You have to recognize it. Once you recognize it, it helps you to then accept it. I then know when I'm getting these downloads, when I'm getting this, you know, co connection or whatever, I do ask for covering from my higher power to make sure that it is coming from, you know, the light, if you want to put it that way. Okay. Archangel Heniel, though. Remember. Last card. This one's reversed also. The wheel. Okay. So we have that 10 again. We have Archangel Jeremiah. So this is a transitional. So maybe... Are you leaving something? Are you going towards something? Remember, Ten of Gabriel, so transitional energy. You may not be necessarily enjoying it as much because it's kind of a burdensome energy to you, but it's, again, part of your growth. But at the same time, that, that psychic insights, that, you know, that archangel energy, it may, be a little bit, uh, it may be a little bit overwhelming. So this could be a week of overwhelming energy downloading to you. You are definitely going to need to ask for help. You're going to have to, you're going, I, sh, I'm, I shouldn't say you have to, but you know, I like when I do it, do it, do it. You, you know, it's a good thing to ask for help. Uh, and again, Heniel, Jeremiah, okay? The wheel, 10, transitions, new beginning, ends, uh, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So, again, too, as we are getting closer to that full moon, it is going to be in Taurus. Taurus is, there's also a connection with Uranus at this time. Remember, when Taurus, when Uranus, Taurus connected, uh, what was it, about two years ago, there was major job changes, and, you know, that's all about expect the unexpected, so there could be another change coming. And it could be, I, I don't know, is it in your job? Um, you know, it, it's a change, and it could be a little bit overwhelming. Okay. Let's go on to our last card here. Okay. Last card, face down, not reversed. Here we go. The two of earth. Again, two. So here, two choices. Earth, solid energy, something, someone you can touch. Um, you know, it is Capricorn, Virgo. It's also Taurus energy again. So maybe that as we get in closer to that Taurus moon energy coming, you know, but twos have a little bit, it's kind of like, you know, money, money, job. There's just too much going on. You need to make sure you ask for help and you need to make sure that you relinquish, you know, if you've got a job duty that you've been doing and, you know, and there's somebody else to help you with that, let them take over, and then don't criticize them. Don't criticize them, my Leos. In fact, give them some praise, 
okay? But this does feel like there is a work thing going on. And again, you got some, you got the changes. It does feel like with Archangel Heniel that you will know what to do just by, you know, pulling in that connection, that connection. Anyway, too much going on at once. The need to make a decision, consider a more playful approach. That's one thing, my, my Leo, you do, you know, when, when it hits you, you know, you can laugh about it. You can laugh about it, but it'll be, you know, it'll be an interesting, um, it'll be an interesting week. So some, expect some more changes, expect some more changes. Just when you think things are settling down. Anyway, anyway, so my Leos, if you like my readings, remember the button, please like, share, subscribe. It really does help. So please, as always, my Leos, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.